In this example, ladies and gentlemen, what we're trying to do is find the, trying to find the ratio from our A to our B. And we want to see, is this going to be an enlargement or a reduction? Well, I think it's pretty obvious, ladies and gentlemen, A represents this small triangle, and B represents the larger triangle. So going from a smaller triangle to a large triangle, are we enlarging it or reducing our triangle? Are we going from a smaller triangle to a larger triangle when we go from A to B? Small to large, right? So you're going from small to large, therefore you're enlarging it, all right? Now there's a couple things I want you guys to understand. They're asking us to find from A to B, what is the scale factor? Now, if I have a scale factor of 1, okay, that means everything, every of my points can be 1, I'm not, that's not going to change anything. But if my scale factor is larger than 1, that's going to be something that's going to be increasing the size. And if my scale factor is less than 1, that's going to be something that's going to be reducing the size. So to find our ratio, I need to find some kind of lengths. And the only lengths that's provided here is f is along our x-axis. So I can say from A to B, A is 1, 2, 3, 4. And then B is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, So my ratio is 4 to 8. However, remember we're going from A to B. right? So I want to see how much larger is that. So if I write my ratio as 8 over 4, you can see that it is an enlargement of 2, right? So the sm larger triangle is double the size of my smaller triangle, right? You won't want to say A is 1 half of B, right? So you wouldn't want to say 4 over 8, because then it would say A is 1 half of B. But what we want to go is from A to B. What do I need to do to go from A to B? I would need to enlargement by a scale factor of 2, all right? Yes? Yes. 